was a teenage wedding and the old folks wished him well You could see that Pierre did truly love the mademoiselle And now the young monsieur and madame have... Hello, welcome to my Pulp Fiction makeup tutorial and in this tutorial you'll get to see me dance really bad and review this wig and show you how to kind of look like Uma Thurman and we're making it to a musical because why not? Without further ado, let's get on to the tutorial. To start, I am applying my foundation all over. Then I'm going to go into the eyes with a light nude color for the base of the eyelids and upper brow bone. Then with a darker nude shade, I am going to put that on the eyelid. After that, we're going to darken up those creases with a slightly darker nude shade. Then we're going to go back into those creases with a maroonish color. In the movie, she has pretty natural makeup, but her creases are very well defined. That's probably just Uma Thurma's eye shape, so I'm trying to best emulate that look here. Now I'm applying my concealer on my under eyes as well as my highlight areas. Then apply eyeliner to the top lid. Then add in some eyeliner, make sure that your wing is super tiny. She does not have a very well-defined uh, wing, it's just a very, very tiny wing, so the smaller, the better. Then add on some mascara. If you want to add on fake lashes, feel free, but I didn't feel like fake lashes were needed for this look. Then going back with almost all of those colors that you used on the top lid, put that on your bottom lid area. I just feel like this gives more dimension to the eye, plus I'm trying to contour my eyes to look as close to Uma Thurman's as possible. Then some mascara on the bottom lashes. Then the eyebrows. I am drawing out the basic shape of her eyebrows with a brown color. If you look closely, her eyebrows are more of like a dark brownish than an actual black, so I'm using a combination of browns and blacks to shade in my eyebrows. For this, I am following a reference image of Uma Thurman from Pulp Fiction, so I highly recommend you get one of those out while doing this process. Then the lips, I am outlining her lip shape with lip liner. And then filling it in with lipstick. Again, please use a reference image for this part. Eyebrows and lips are the biggest things you want to get right when you're trying to emulate a celebrity character. Now we're just doing some contouring. I'm contouring my face to the best of my abilities to try to emulate Uma Thurman to the best of my abilities. And with that, I'm just using the It Cosmetics contouring palette. Use whatever contouring palette you want. I typically outline the darkest areas of the contour with my brush and then shade it in with a contour shading brush or just with a lighter color as well. Then I apply some powder and highlighter. Hey guys, so for the wig portion of this video, I would like to take a second to talk about the wig. The wig I got for this tutorial is from Rabbit Goo, Rabbit Go, say it however you want. They contacted me and asked if there, if I would be willing to review a wig. So I saw that they had a wig that would match this tutorial that I've been wanting to do for ages perfectly. Here it is. It comes in a big Amazon box and then you get this little box inside. And inside this little box, you just open it up and there's your wig inside. With this wig, you also get a wig cap and wig care instructions. Here it is. It's just a classic uh, black bob. What I really love about this wig is, I don't know if you guys probably can't fully tell on camera, um, but this is like a natural black, so it's more of like a super, super, super dark brown as opposed to like a jet black, which is really nice and in my opinion looks a lot more natural than just like a black, but 
you do you. But the nice thing about this wig is it has a little scalp patch at the top of the wig to make it look as natural as possible, which I absolutely love with wigs like this that have like big bangs and stuff because that little scalp patch just makes it look that much more realistic. Here's the wig on. Um, I have the curling iron going because while like these little curling things totally match like um, some other hairstyles, uh, Uma Thurman in the uh, in the Pulp Fiction movie, she doesn't quite have this drastic of a curl. Um, but I really like this wig. It's really thick and soft, and it is it's really comfortable and even though like it doesn't have any like clips or anything in it it still fits pretty snugly and i don't feel like it's gonna like come off super easy and also the nice thing about it is it doesn't it also feels like it's not gonna give me a headache which i greatly appreciate for this costume i don't really have to like alter or style this wig very much um which is why i really like it um the wig came super super fast it took me like an extra day to get it just because like that's how my apartment sorts mail um but the shipping was really fast the customer service was awesome and i mean these wigs are pretty fucking these wigs are pretty cheap and considering how cheap they are they are a incredibly high quality i'm really surprised at the quality of these wigs not just because like you know i thought it'd be a bad quality it's just like a lot of the times when you get like cheaper wigs off of Amazon, you're kind of like cutting corners with the quality. And it, I can like 100% say like this, like you're not cutting corners with the quality in this wig. But yeah, so I guess we will put it to the heat test. And then you're done. And now the young monsieur and madame have rung the chapel bell. C'est la vie, c'est the old folks. It goes to show you never can tell. They furnished off an apartment with a two room robot. That's about it for this tutorial and wig review. Thank you so much to Rabbit Goo Go my online wig friends on Amazon for uh, reaching out and wanting to collaborate. I do really love this wig and it works perfectly for the cosplay that I'm doing for this and it worked awesomely for this tutorial. So thank you so much for that this amazing opportunity. If you want to check out their uh, Amazon store, all of their links are down below. I 100% recommend you check them out, especially since Halloween is right around the corner. Also, thank you guys so, so much because without you, I wouldn't be able to collaborate with amazing companies like RabbitGo and, you know, make these videos and be able to do this and stuff. So, yeah. Thank you guys so, so much. I hope this is helpful for anyone who's wanting to cosplay Uma Thurman from Pulp Fiction, even though I never remember her character's name. But it's a good, quick and easy and fast and cheap Halloween costume. Uh, let me know if there's any other makeup tutorials you want to see me do in the comments below. Thank you guys so much and bye. Guys, I almost forgot the desk test, which is when I check to see just how good the wig is if my dog barks at me because she doesn't recognize me. So, the desk test. Desiree, hope she recognizes me. Dizzy Ray! Dizzy Ray. Damn, Des. I guess I'm not doing a good job at passing the Des test. What about you, Calvin? Hey, Calvin. Do you know who I am? How much is that puppy in the window, Boof?